Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com, bringing you another video. This one is about pouring a concrete floor. This could be literally a DIY concrete floor. This is the type of concrete floor that you could do yourself with enough knowledge, enough education. So just stay tuned for the whole video and watch how we do it. So what we're doing is, this is a 30 by 28 foundation floor for a house. It's about just under 900 square feet. And we got, I believe we got two trucks coming for this floor. So what we what we do is, you see that the access wasn't that great with this, so we had to use one of our chutes and get it to the other side. And we're pouring probably about a six inch slump there. We always order the concrete with a water reducer. So that allows us to pour the concrete a little bit looser than normal without affecting the water cement ratio. So it helps helps keep it from cracking when we pour it this loose. We use that on all our floors so we can pour a pretty decent slump, not have to kill ourselves. No sense of pouring the concrete too stiff if there's a chemical that will help make it a little bit looser, guys. So we're gonna dump this first truck right out. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm making a wet pad there. That wet pad is the same height as the top of the concrete wall right here in the front, the one that you can't see. This is a walkout foundation, so you can walk right out this front piece. And I'm putting two pads there. And then I'm going down, I'm magging the edges. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. And I also own everythingaboutconcrete.com where I I talk about all kinds of concrete finishes, floors, slabs, stamp concrete, staining concrete, concrete repair, even a lot of epoxy floors. We install a lot of those. So if those are the kinds of things you like, then go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button. I'm coming out with two to three videos a week talking about this stuff, trying to help educate you guys and teach you guys how to do this. If there's anything you want me to, to make a video about that has to do with concrete flat work, then leave me a comment down there. If you pour concrete, go ahead down there and leave me a comment and say, yes, I pour concrete. And if you don't, if you're just learning but, but want to pour concrete, then say, I'm just learning. So I'll know how to gear the rest of my videos moving forward. There you can see I got just about all the edges magged. We're magging it right even with the top of that white ISO strip. That ISO strip keeps the floor from sticking to the concrete wall. Which is, which is supposed to help keep it from cracking too. So we wet screed, this is called wet screeding. We, we wet pad the floor and then we, we strike a pad in it like that. And then you can see we're kind of kick screeding as we go. The guy behind the kick screed, the puddler, that's me. He's gotta be doing his job so them guys don't have to stop. But uh, I'm, I'm working as fast as I can. Them guys are just really fast. There we switch now. Let's we'll see how good this guy is. See if we have to stop here. No, oh, yeah, we got to stop. That means the concrete got built up a little too high. But anyway, this is the way we screed. We also vibra screed a lot, but this one's just not big enough for us to pull the vibra screed out. So we just do it by hand. We've all been doing this a long, long time. I've been doing this 39 years and. One of my guys there with the black sweatshirt, he's been working over 20 years for me. And the guy in the gray has been almost 20. So we've been working together a long, long time. So we got that half screeded. Now I'm bull floating. You can see the bull float helps push down those rocks and it brings up the cream. And it makes it easier to trial after. You don't want to be trialing those rocks on the surface. We like the one with the rounded edges, the bull float with the rounded edges like that. I'll have all these tools down in the description, guys. If you want to check them out, there'll be links for them down in the description. You can see my guys are getting ready to stop pouring that second truck. Those are our two trucks in the background. That's mine, the white one, and the guys drive that blue one. We like those utility bodies on the pickups, and we also like the four doors. You know, we'll keep our spare clothes in there, we'll keep the the laser in there, things that we just don't want to get banged around the toolbox, we'll keep behind the seat. 
The toolbox is though a key. You can put, they're like having a mini garage. So everything we need every day is in those toolboxes. We don't have to worry about forgetting anything. I would highly recommend a truck like that. They're both one tons too, so they can haul just about anything we need them to. No, we had to give the we had to give that concrete another drink. That was a little stiff. So we'll get this second truck just about all poured out before we straight edge it. We pour with these guys a lot, this concrete company. I mean, once you pour with somebody a lot, you know exactly how the concrete's going to act and how to react to it. So we know how fast it's going to take to set up and we know how much time we have before we have to worry about it stiffening up. That's a little trick guys, turning that chute around like that in case you didn't know. That end chute hooks on the opposite way too, which allows you to pour over the wall like that. Probably most of you guys know that, but if you didn't know, now you do. It just makes it so much easier and the concrete doesn't splatter as much. We use a, most of the time we'll use a 3500 PSI mix for our concrete floors and we'll put microfiber in it. As you can see, this floor had radiant heat in it and the heating guys, they like to leave the tubes right on the bottom up here in where we're from in Maine. They don't like us to pull it up into the concrete at all. So we leave the tubes on the bottom and we use the fiber mesh in the concrete for reinforcement. And then when we get done troweling these floors, we saw expansion joints in it with a soft cut saw. And that usually helps control any of the shrinkage cracking. What's great about my two guys is, you know, I don't have to tell them what to do. If there's something to do, they just do it. We could probably pour this whole floor without even talking to each other and, and be just as fast. They're pretty good at the straight edging. You guys don't notice those, see our mags hanging off that margin trial in our back pocket? For those of you guys who don't have that, that's a, there's a Leatherman in there. It's a pocket protector that the margin trial fits into. And it just helps, it helps protect your pocket and your pants from the margin trial ripping the pants. Makes it a lot more comfortable too when your mag's hanging off that. Yeah, we'll get that bull floated, then we'll pull down that last bay. This was probably about a 12 yard floor. I think all in all, it took us about 35 minutes to pour this floor. Well, we, we'll usually do a couple of these a day. So we'll pour a floor like this, about 900 square feet. We'll leave one guy here to finish it with the power trials. And two of us will go pour another floor somewhere. And then either we'll both stay on that one, or if we bring a the third truck then you know I'll leave that guy there then I'll go set up jobs for the next day yeah we just about got enough concrete in there again guys if you like this kind of stuff if you're just learning if you want to be in business for yourself um, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching all this kind of stuff go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button hit the little bell notification too so you'll be updated with all my videos I come out with a couple a week I'm also on Instagram, guys, and I have a Facebook page and Twitter, so I'll have uh, links for those are all down in the description, and I come up with a little different material on each one, so, you know, make sure you follow me on those and subscribe to those or whatever you got to do. Yeah, we got just a little bit left to go. That guy in the orange hat, he's the guy that did the foundation. Those are aluminum panels too. They're three foot panels. So they're steel panels and they come out really nice. It gives it the finish on those walls a really nice finish. We have mostly rear dump trucks up here do uh, concrete trucks. We do, there's not too many front end loader trucks where we're from. When we get a front end front end truck, it's like a it's like a bonus for us. 
especially if it's got a good driver. Yeah, Darren's going to finish up that bolt floating and that's it. We'll be done. On to the next one. Well, that's it, guys. That's how we pour a concrete floor, a DIY concrete floor. If, uh, if you want to learn more, then just keep watching these videos, guys. Go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if you pour concrete or not. And we'll see you on the next video, guys.